This brief presentation is intended to familiarize you with the course, all you need to know about reliability. As shown in the slide, reliability is a characteristic of an asset that requires attention at each phase over the life cycle of the asset, including the design phase, the maintain phase during the useful life of the asset, and the renewal phase. Experienced reliability engineers have developed tools like Design for Reliability and Reliability-Centered Maintenance that can be applied during those phases of the life cycle to produce the desired level of asset performance. As with other courses provided through this website, all you need to know about reliability contains a number of elements needed to ensure that the student receives full benefit from taking the course. The course is presented using a set of slides that cover the content in a detailed manner. Each slide is accompanied by a voiceover narrative that provides the important details associated with each slide. Each course is accompanied with a book covering the same subject in a way that tends to broaden the student's exposure and understanding. Finally, each module concludes with a series of questions or exercises developed to ensure that the student has absorbed the key points and clearly grasps the objectives of each module. A special feature of this course is the opportunity for the student to come in direct contact with the instructor for assistance in understanding the course elements or for advice in applying course content to their real-life situation. An important question concerning this course is who will benefit from taking it. In recent years, many of the individuals who worked as discipline engineers in the past are now being asked to perform reliability engineering. Typically, those individuals have held roles specializing in rotating equipment, electrical systems, control systems, or pressure equipment. While the skills obtained through years of practice working in any of these disciplines is important, those skills are focused more on functionality or integrity of the assets than on reliability. This course is intended to provide individuals with working experience in specific disciplines with the knowledge needed to address issues needed to ensure that the devices they address are reliable as well as functional and robust. In the same way that individuals who work directly within equipment disciplines have failed to focus on reliability, the individuals in the organizations surrounding those individuals are frequently confused concerning reliability. Plant managers are used to asking a rotating equipment engineer how much pressure or throughput a pump can achieve. Now the plant manager needs to ask a different question. How long will the pump survive? or how frequently will it fail. This course is intended to provide both reliability engineers and the people who surround the reliability engineer in the organization with the knowledge needed to transition from being a failure-based culture to being a culture that is capable of focusing on those elements important to achieving sustained reliability. It's quite typical when individuals consider the concept of reliability that they tend to include a number of characteristics that are related to the subject. The term RAM, R-A-M, as in RAM analysis, includes all of the discrete elements that people include in their overall concept of reliability. The letters in RAM stand for reliability, availability, and maintainability. While these characteristics are interrelated, they are separate characteristics and result from different elements of design and different considerations. The following definitions are useful in distinguishing the different elements of RAM. Reliability is the likelihood that a device will survive for a specific period of time. Availability is a measure of the portion of total time a device will be able to perform its intended function. Maintainability is a measure of your ability to respond to failure, and in doing so, restore the inherent reliability of an asset in a rateable amount of time. These characteristics are interrelated. For example, improvements to the reliability of an asset will
will also improve the availability. On the other hand, it's possible to develop an asset in a manner that the reliability is 